It's time for a two-minute timeout with Joe Shuda. Pirates announcer Greg Brown doesn't sugarcoat his feelings about how difficult 2019 was for him and the Pirates organization. It really was, Joe. It was very difficult to go through. There was a 4-24 stretch following the All-Star break. There's a total collapse. But I guess what stood out was not only the collapse, but also the infighting. Literally, the fighting that took place. Kyle Crick breaks his hand, fighting with the guy that was the former closer who ended up going to jail later last summer. There was a coach in the minor leagues that Tione Kella apparently pushed. Kella was then suspended and then later a pirate coach was suspended. A bullpen coach, Euclides Rojas, who I consider one of the great men I've ever met. But unfortunately, I think that ended up costing him his job because he literally fought back, but he yelled back at, at one of the players. It was just a mess. And then the difficult part for me was you don't want to air dirty laundry on the air. You try to do the games as best you can. You describe them. You do your job, your play-by-play. But going to work every day is much of a pleasure as it is to be an announcer. As much as I love my job, there were difficult days last year because I saw what was going on internally, and it got very frustrating. I knew something had to be done. I was hopeful that Bob Nutting would react. He did in a bigger way than I even thought. That's the bad part. The good part is almost immediately, Joe, when the manager was let go about a week later, I was walking through the runway at PNC Park past the clubhouse. Even the clubhouse doors were closed. I just felt a whole different sense in that ballpark. Just a a breath of fresh air. A new manager had not been named, but I just felt like things were so much better. And it certainly has improved since Derek Shelton was named. New president, new general manager. The players are, I think, going to really, really enjoy playing for Derek Shelton. I'm Joe Shuda with this two-minute timeout.